गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट मैं सिर्फ मिली सांखला टूडे इन सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन ऑफ डिस्टेंस कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर वी स्टार्ट विद अवर न्यू टॉपिक इन श्योर एंड टॉर्शनल डिजाइन स्ट्रेंथ ओके टूडे वी स्टार्ट विद टॉर्शनल डिजाइन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिजाइन स्टार्टिंग विद डिजाइन वी डिस्कस द एनालिसिस ऑफ टॉर्शन फर्स्ट एनालिसिस फॉर टॉर्शन द सेक्शन कवर फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट इज स्ट्रेस्ड इन अनक्रैक्ड बीम second crack pattern under the torsion and component of resistance of pure tension torsion mode of failure and effect of pressing force this five topic we discuss in analysis of torsion now in introduction portion analysis of reinforced concrete and pressed concrete member for torsion is more difficult compared to analysis of axial and flexor same is shear analysis for axial load and flexor are based upon three principle first one is the equilibrium of internal and external forces second one is the compatibility of strain in concrete and steel and third one is the cons uh, consecutive relationship of material now for torsion generated in member can be classified into two type based on the necessity of analysis and design for torsion first one for equilibrium of torsion this is generated due to the loading eccentric to the centroidal axis for example in a beam supporting cantilever slab or precast slab or floor joist on one side and figure number b it is curved bridge deck subjected to eccentric live load okay and the third one is eccentric pole subjected to load from wire on one side this one is the reason to induce torsion in our beam following figure show the situation where eccentric load are acting on the member this one is the box type of girder and cgc that means center of concrete and load are given here load are not provided at center and this load is act as a eccentric load for this box girder now here this is l section and load is provided from this point and this load is eccentric load for this given section cgc means center of concrete okay now next compatibility torsion means this is generated by twisting to maintain compatibility in deformation with connected member this type of torsion generated in primary beam supporting secondary beam that means compatibility torsion is generated in primary beam and secondary beam to understand the behavior of beam under torsion presentation will be in the following sequence okay now we understand how the torsion twisting moment will be happen in our beam first stress in uncracked rectangle beam without stressing due to pure torsion with constant torque along the span second crack pattern under pure torsion then component of resistance of pure torsion then mode of failure under combined torsion and uh, flexor and also effective force okay now one by one stress in uncracked beam okay when beam is not cracked what will be the stress criteria according to torsion following figure show the beam rectangle cross section under pure torsion this one is the cantilever beam okay and middle portion is the section and from this section it is subjected to torsion the variation of torsion shear stress tau along the radial lines in cross section are shown it can be observed that maximum shear stress tau max occur at the middle of the pressed concrete structure longer side hence the subsequent explanation will refer to stress condition at the middle of the longer side okay this torsion when we apply the maximum shear stress will be subjected on this longer side okay and this one is the middle portion section is represent and twisting moment because of this shear stress this section is subjected to torsion and it will be deformed like this way okay and this is the torsional shear stress in cross section of beam next crack pattern under the pure torsion 
द क्रैक जनरेटेड ड्यू टू द प्योर टोशन फॉलो द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस ट्रेजेक्टरीज दैट वी डिस्कस इन शियर स्ट्रेस फर्स्ट क्रैक्स आर ऑब्जर्व एट द मिडल ऑफ द लॉन्गर साइड दैट मीन्स दिस वन इज द लॉन्गर साइड एंड क्रैक आर ऑब्जर्व एट मिडल वन देन क्रैक आर ऑब्जर्व एट द मिडल ऑफ द शॉर्टर साइड ओके दिस वन इज द शॉर्टर साइड एंड क्रैक आर अगेन ऑब्जर्व एट द मिडल ऑफ द शॉर्टर साइड आफ्टर द क्रैक्स कनेक्ट द सर्क्युलेट अलॉन्ग द पैरिफरी ऑफ द बीम एंड वॉट हैपन आफ्टर दैट वेन दिस हॉरिजोंटल शॉर्टर साइड एंड लॉन्गर साइड क्रैक्स आर कनेक्टेड टू इच अदर इट विल बी क्रिएट अ पैरिफरी ऑफ बीम ओके कैंटिलीवर बीम इज गिवन ड्यू टू टॉर्शन फर्स्ट क्रैक इज इंड्यूज इन लॉन्गर साइड at middle portion then crack will be induced at shorter side middle portion when this connection of longer side and shorter side cracks it will be form a periphery along the beam okay now formation this one is the sequence of formation of crack in beam due to pure torsion next component of resistance for pure torsion after cracking the concrete form strut carrying compression the reinforcing bars act as a ties carrying tension this will be assumption when our beam is crack after pure torsion concrete is behave like a strut and reinforcing bar is behaving like a ties okay form of space stress since the shear stress is larger near the side the compression in concrete is predominant in periphery john this is called a thin wall tube behavior the thickness of the wall is shear flow zone and this is known as shear flow zone okay look at this this one is the section of subjected to pure torsion and middle one is the area where crack is subjected ओके द कंपोनेंट इन वर्टिकल एंड हॉरिजॉन्टल सेक्शन ऑफ बीम आर शॉन बिलो टी सी ओके टी सी टॉर्शन रजिस्टेड बाय कॉन्क्रीट एंड टी एस इज द टॉर्शन रजिस्टेड बाय लॉन्जिट्यूडनल एंड ट्रांसवर्स रेनफोर्सिंग बार ओके व्हेन वी कट द सेक्शन द इमेज विल बी दिस लाइक नाउ मोड्स ऑफ फेलियर फॉर होमोजीनियस बीम मेड अप ऑफ ब्रिटल मटेरियल सब्जेक्टेड टू प्योर टॉर्शन observed plane of failure is not perpendicular to the beam but inclined at an angle okay look at this when we subject uh, we select homogeneous material okay just like a brittle material the failure will be inclined at the surface this can be explained by theory of elasticity a simple example by applying tor to piece of chalk when we apply chalk as a torsion that means torque the failure figure of chalk is given here look at this this failure of brittle material is inclined for a reinforced concrete beam length increase after cracking and after yielding of bar for beam subjected to flexor and torsion the mode of failure are explained by skewed bending theory and the observed plane of failure is not perpendicular to the beam axis but inclined at an angle the curved plane of failure is idealized as a planar surface inclined to axis of beam here we use a skewed bending theory okay for failure of brittle material it is subjected to pure torsion now mode of modify bending failure mode 1 this occur occur when effect of mu is larger than of tu that means bending moment is larger than twisting moment zone under cu that means compressive zone and this is tu that means tensile zone this one is the first bending moment failure mode 1 failure okay then lateral bending failure mode 2 failure this is observed in beam with thin web when effect of mu and tu are comparable okay here failure will be occur in web portion and again cu compressive zone okay and 
idealized pattern for mod 2 failure this one is mod 1 failure this one is the mod 2 failure and negative bending failure is mod 3 failure when effect of tu is large and the top still is less this mode of failure occur like this way okay this one is the mode 3 failure tensile tu and zone under c now what is the effect of prestressing force last one presence of prestressing force the cracking occur at higher load this is the evident from typical torque versus twist curve for section under pure torsion with further increase in load crack pattern remains similar but inclination of crack change with amount of prestressing force simply when we uh, whenever beam is subjected to pure torsion crack will be happen but it is also depend upon inclination of curve okay the following figure show the difference in torque versus twist curve for non prestressing beam and prestressed beam okay this one vertical as a torque and horizontal will be uh, uh, take as a twist now prestress beam and non prestress beam okay yellow one is for non prestress and this green one is for prestress beam look at this when we apply torque twist will be formed in our beam and in non prestressing beam this yellow one look at this this is happen and then it will be continue and go up to the ultimate strength and for prestress beam green one start up to this point is not twist and then after twisting it will be reach a ultimate strength okay this one is the torque versus twist diagram for prestressing and non prestressing beam that means prestressing beam is better performed with respect to non prestressing beam because it will be deflect first crack okay at immediately but prestressing will be deflect after taking a load just now we stop here and in next session we solve the examples.